Hello everyone. Hi. Hi. My name is Jack. I am from Australia. And today I am your teacher. Monastery behind me. And then the cliff's edge. Wow. You watching TV? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Autograph. Okay. <laughs> Gotta shine it up. Okay. Mmm. So g'day and good morning guys from the beautiful Eco Lodge here in Bhutan. Now we checked into this place late last night, but uh we couldn't really show much because it was so dark. We've got Sophia with us too. So yeah, let's have a good day. Be right beside us as we explore the beautiful country of Bhutan together. So this is the hydropower dam and all of these houses here are the houses that have been built for the workers at the hydro plant. More renewable energy here in Bhutan. There's no monks about, so I think we'll just ring the doorbell. Is there a doorbell on this? I'm not sure how it works. Dogs, calm down. So the dogs have came to attack us, so we've got our sticks. Now we're about to go to the monk school just here. So we're just in the classroom at the moment, and the kids are reading off the board here. There's no teacher in the classroom. They're doing it by themselves. Very disciplined. <laughs> They also have the alphabet up here. So this is the one of the teachers here and he teaches the Zonka language. And I asked him, do you like your job? And he said yes, because he loves to teach the young kids and the young minds of today. It's very re rewarding and as you can imagine, it would be. So yeah, very cool. So you can still hear the kids going. So they're also taught uh, English and the uh, English alphabet and also counting in English. Uh, once a week, one of the teachers from the school that we're going to visit today actually comes here once a week so they can have a basic understanding of English, which is really practical in today's society, especially when visitors like us come and visit and we say, how are you? Then they know to say, I'm fine. And just very basic English. So it's very good for them. The, the older one are the one who's making all this one. Wow, and this is made out of clay, right? Uh, red mud. Red mud. And clay. Wow. So they'll use this when performing a puja and it keeps away evil spirits as well. So I think it's built in the shape of a stupa as well. And you can see them over here just making them. So they're using water and red mud and clay and they're just molding it here. And then this is their little ones over here as well. So what what makes him happy inside? Like once they wear the dress of a monk, they are considered as a follower of Buddha. And because of that, people, they value them. And the government, especially, they, even this one is like sponsored by the government. He can do like more dharmas and all. That's why he's very happy with this. Wow, awesome. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. They also have a vegetable garden down here. So as you can see down here, They've got their vegetable garden, so they grow all their fruits and vegetables. And just beyond this too, they've got corn. Oh, they've also got some corn here as well. So that helps them when they're preparing their meals. Um, so they don't have to buy everything. A lot of the stuff is also grown here, which is really sustainable. now the little monk just before opened up the uh, door for us to come in so let's have a look beautiful wow this is really amazing so this is on the side of the mountain and as you can see out these windows you've got a view so beautiful so it would be amazing to sit here and meditate and then also have the view out here of all the different teachings and everything on the walls I asked if they're actually praying to Buddha and the answer is yes which I get different answers everywhere I go to different countries. When I went to Nepal, they weren't actually praying to Buddha. The Buddha statue was more there to remind them to reach enlightenment. So 
I'm still a little bit confused. There's different dominations of Buddhism all around the world. So different people believe different things. So yeah, if you know more about this, let me know in the comments. It'd be interesting to hear your thoughts. Oh, they have a soccer field down here too. Yes. <laughs> it's always fun as well. Prayer, school, and fun. So good. It's a good three elements, I like that. Uh, walking to the owner's uh, the owner's house of the eco lodge so he doesn't actually stay at the eco lodge he has his own house here so we're going to go and see what that looks like they've also got a cow down there and yeah really big house really lovely beautiful big old traditional house here and then we've got another much older house which I think has been turned into a garden shed or something made from bricks and mud so beautiful. Oh, lovely. His mother and his father. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ooh. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, dog. <laughs> oh, and a cat. Hello, cat. Meow. Meow. And I've got pumpkin growing here too. And then another garden shed as well. Ah, beautiful chickens. They got the firewood here. Also the basket for the firewood collection. All different building materials as well. Such a lovely home. So we've just been invited inside. Take our shoes off first. It's very hot today. So we're going up these stairs, forward slash ladder. Beautiful artwork here on the walls. I love this in Bhutan. They really love all the color here. Got little kids. You watching TV? Yes, yeah. <laughs> They've got some beautiful family photos here. Look at the uncle, look at him. Wow. Snakes. Wow, yeah. Oh. So we're just going into the other part of the house now. So this looks like also a sleeping area too. And the shrine, beautiful shrine here. Such a lovely house and look at the window. Beautiful view. They've got all the mattresses here for when they sleep. Very lovely. What's what's your name? What's your name? Wow, nice to meet you. Old wooden floors here, big slats of timber. So beautiful. Over time with the house moving, it's a little bit unlevel. But it just adds to that authentic experience of the house. We've got the lovely roof here too. What's, what's your name? You're beautiful. <laughs> so cute. You're watching Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig? No matter where in the world, Peppa Pig is everywhere. She's been to Bangkok, she's also been to Nepal. All these family photos are on their travels. So this is definitely Bangkok just there. So this as well is where they burn all of their rubbish because there's no rubbish collection out here. So they have a pit here, a nice pit to uh, do that so the rubbish doesn't fly everywhere and go out. Uh, Amma there, she's actually 73, 73 years old. She can still hear very good, still see very good, walks around working in the field. Okay, so we've just came up now for breakfast. Yeah, it was really nice actually just exploring before breakfast and now we're going to eat and then after that we'll get in the car, drive about 10, 20 minutes to the school. Wow, thank you. past a very very old house ruin here and we've got a old house as well but this one's pretty much collapsed so yeah very interesting this is very 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 old just made from pure mud and stones and we've got a beautiful horse here hello horse Zampo. Kuzu Zampo. okay so we've just arrived at the Gastilo primary school so we're just walking up to the school now as you can see, this is their oval here. A little bit flooded out from all of the rain. This structure here, just in front of me, you can see this is a very old structure. There's lots of cracks and everything in there. So this structure would have been made out of mud. 
And then this one here is brand new out of concrete. And then these ones here are fairly new, made out of stone. So yeah, very interesting. They've kept all the old buildings here. We're about to get a tour of a class that the principal is teaching. So kind of him to take us through here. So how old is this school? It was established in 1961. 1961. Wow. Yeah. Oh, class six. Wow, lovely. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi. My name is Jack. I am from Australia. And today I am your teacher. I'm just joking. <laughs> your uh, principal here is so kind to let us come in and see your classroom. So uh, yeah, I, I am a YouTuber, so you will all be on YouTube. <laughs> Please sit down. Okay, he's there. How is our country? How is your country? Your country is very nice. One thing I love about your country is uh, how environmentally friendly it is. 70% of your country is covered in trees. Your people take very good care of your environment. Can I have your tennis name? Oh yes, my channel's name. It's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> Jack Paul, that's my channel name. Do you like our fitness food? Yes. Yeah, I love your food. It's uh, very wholesome and healthy. I've been to other countries where food is not healthy, but here in Bhutan, the food is very healthy. I like it. Like you have heard, our Bhutan is a GNH country. Yes. So do you think that our people are happy? I think our people are very happy. Based on their smiling faces, they're uh, very, very happy. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so cool. I didn't think I'd be teaching a class today. So now we're moving into the IT class. Let's go. Hello, students. How are you? <laughs> so the king has set up all of this in the classrooms and has paid for all of this. It's so amazing to see here. So even the king has set up coding for kids, which you know is so important these days. So kids in Bhutan are learning coding, which is amazing, very good. So every month, uh, Code Monkey requires a subscription fee, and the king is also paying for that. The children are having really like opportunities where they can explore. So all the crazy awesome. boost our king. The king's doing a lot of good work. It's good to see. Wow, amazing. Does anyone have any questions? Questions, do you like? Yeah, you have questions. Can you talk about your countries? My country? My country is Australia. Put your hand up if you know Australia. Australia. You know? Put your hand, raise your hand if you know Australia. So uh, Australia is very famous for, uh, here we go. This is our Harbour Bridge uh, Opera House. This is what Australia looks like on the map. This is such an awesome experience. I didn't expect to be talking to the kids like this. So awesome to see the kids here just learning about computers because it's so important in today's society. Especially the code monkey that blew my mind. I had no idea that they were learning about code. So the king is really doing really good work here. Do you want to visit our country again? Oh yes, I would love to visit your country again. In fact, I have plans to come next year to uh, see the east of Bhutan. Wow, so many people are subscribing and watching my videos. <laughs> Just like that, 100 subscribers. No, maybe not 100, 20. <laughs> this uh, building was built in uh, 1961. Wow, very old building, yeah. I'll, I'll lead you to visit. Yeah, yeah, thank you. This is Hello. my... How are you? Hello. Mr. So this is your staff? Yeah, room? staff. Yeah. Okay. We are... 17. 17? 17. 17 teachers. Wow. Amazing. And then 8 non-teaching staff. I see. Supporting staff. Uh -huh. This is uh, general office. General office. Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. This is, Hello. This is how we are living. Very nice. I love the uh, bamboo here. <laughs> and if you look at this picture. Oh, wow. Closely. Yeah. Made out of like different people. Like. That's amazing. That's very creative. 
I love that. Uh, deal to your friends that uh -huh. I am the shortest principal in Bhutan. Okay. <laughs> I got I got that on film, so okay. I'll put that in. <laughs> I want Okisha. Thank, thank you so oh, much, sir. Thank you. Much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We still have some thank children you. who wants to take an autograph. Okay, <laughs> autograph. Wow. It's like I'm famous. Autograph. Okay. <laughs> this is the first time I've done this. Okay. My handwriting isn't that good. <clears throat> okay, I'll just use this one pen, okay, and then. Sophia too, wow. <laughs> this is what a school in rural Bhutan looks like. So amazing. My name is Pravin Sharma, uh -huh. I'm from Bhutan. And I like Australia, I want to go to Australia. Wow. I hope it's dead. Wow, amazing, thank you sir, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, bye, <laughs> bye, bye, thank you, bye. Wow, lovely students. See you, thank you so much again. Thank you, thank you very much sir. Okay. Thank you. Madam, bye. <laughs> Oh, what an experience. Wow. I think maybe that was the best experience yeah. in Bhutan so far. My, My best experience in Bhutan. Wow. My heart is just filled with love at the moment. Oh, I just feel so humble and, um, and thankful that we were able to visit that school. And to see the computers and the coding, these kids are very, very smart. It's very amazing. So we've now stopped off for some lunch. As you can see, it's very foggy up here. This is the name of the place that we're eating lunch at, Dukala Eco Retreat. Dochula I think. Eco Retreat. Yes. Thank you, darling. My English, <laughs> Sophia's English is better than mine. So right now is a Dochula View Resort. Okay. So before the owner was different? Yeah. All oh, right, so now they've changed the owner. So the owner of this place actually also owns Mercury Bhutan Travels. So quick fun fact for you. So just while we wait for our lunch to cook, we're just touring the rooms. It's very cold here yeah. because we are high at 3,100 meter. So they will burn the firewood here. Uh, smoke will go out and it will keep whole room very warm. So normally when the sky is clear, they have binoculars out here. We can see all of the Himalayan um, beautiful snow-capped mountains. But unfortunately, because of the fog, we can't see that today. Okay, so we've just received a lovely pumpkin soup here. So let's give this a taste. Oh, wow. It's good. Yeah, that's like home homemade. Really good, nice and fresh, like everything we've had here. So yeah, we're gonna dig into this. We're really hungry. And then I'll see you guys when we reach the hotel tonight. This is probably one of the biggest rooms we have had in Bhutan so far. And just before we take a tour, I just wanna show you that all of this garden here is used in the cooking of the restaurant here. These fresh apples here, we can pick right now and eat one, but we actually already have some inside. So let's go in and check it out. Some amazing apples here, some mangoes as well, and also a bottle of Chavion Blanc. No, I'm just joking, what is this called? Raven red wine, amazing. A lovely bathtub here with a big shower, shampoo, conditioner, wood. Up here, the beams are made out of cypress. It really smells really, really good. If we come through here, seating area just here. Through here, we've got a lovely little mini bar and a bottle of water that isn't in plastic. This hotel does not use any plastic at all. None, just glass, it's amazing. Lovely little mini bar fridge. And then in here is the second bathroom with a toilet and also a lovely shower as well. So yeah, how cool is this guys? To be in a apartment like this is absolutely Stunning. So yeah, we're very, very blessed. I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested in staying in this place. I really hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. I really enjoyed going to the monk monastery and also seeing the kids at the school. That was definitely my highlight. That so, was my favorite part, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. good, right? Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it real. Cheers. Yeah.